Hit it! Play a few bits of chicken, take one. Thank you. What are we making? We're making what? Hey, welcome back. I'm Max Amana. Thanks for being here. Today we're making tofu butter chicken. I pause, I do a pause because I know it's not, it's not chicken. So why are you calling it butter chicken? There's no butter in it either. So really it's just tofu. It is not the Indian dish. It is inspiration from that. So I'm playing around to make my own plant-based version. Okay? Okay. Just so we get that out in the open, everyone understands what we're doing here. Okay? Okay. I love this dish. It's comforting, easy to pull together, a few ingredients, and you have this just luxurious dish. Slice your tofu like so. Grab a clean tea towel. Place your tofu on a clean tea towel. Wrap it up. Pack it up pack it in. And then press. You're gonna press the liquid. You're pulling the liquid out of the tofu so we can have a nice baked tofu that resembles and mimics the textures of chicken. I've started doing that already, and I'll show you what I have. We always hear it and we never <laughs> respond to it. So I've pressed some tofu, pulling out the, the liquid, give you a nice crunchy piece of chicken. In a bowl, you just tear it into pieces, like so, yeah? Oh, big pieces. You could go, you can go small, you can go medium, you could go big. I'm gonna do that again to the other pieces of tofu that we have here. I'm just gonna put my books back. Oh, these books? Okay, crumble it up or tear it apart. You guys are gonna like this. I'm excited for this one. I've done this recipe twice on Instagram and it's each time has had uh, over a million views each. Just, just saying. That wasn't even a humble brag. No. <laughs> that was just a brag. Each. I think, yeah. <laughs> Cornstarch or corn flour or cornstarch in a bowl it goes what the cornstarch is doing will coat the outside of the tofu so when it gets to, when it bakes it will have this nice crisp, crispy crunchy outer layer while the inside is staying slightly soft I feel like you're gonna make this one yeah, I, think I know I you've made the mac and cheese I think I will I made the soup oh wait give it a seat no we didn't make a seat we spoke about making the soup. Uh, uh, did we do the... Onto a baking tray. Spread it out evenly. And bake for about 15 to 20 minutes. We do what we do. Moving on, we're going to toast our spices. This is a crucial step in the process. Introducing spices. Have you seen Dune? No. Oh yeah. God damn it. Dude. But this guy has never, this guy doesn't watch films. I was on the plane, I didn't want to watch it. I want to oh, okay, it. okay. We'll go see Dune together and you'll teach me how to play drums. Okay. Starting with our spices, introducing coriander seeds, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Coriander, coriander seeds, cumin seeds, turmeric, cinnamon, cardamom, chili powder, Garam masala. Can we do that again really quickly, like fire through it? Coriander seeds, cumin seeds, turmeric, cinnamon, cardamom, chili powder. Garam masala. And the base keep running, running, and running. Into a dry frying pan on a low medium. Toast them until they're fragrant. One to two minutes until they're fragrant. <laughs> Chop an onion in half. Remove the peeling. I feel like it's a given at this point. This onion peel will change your life or your money back. Remove the butts, cut them in the quarters. Garlic. Ooh. Introducing garlic trick. Volume two. Have you seen that one before, Dan? I have, yeah. No. I've used it. Huh? Oh, he's used it. Mmm, lovely. Okay, I've turned off the heat. This much of ginger. Into our trusty little mixing gadget. Onions, garlic. Ginger. Lovely paste. Ooh. All chopped up, ready for action. 
nipping in the bud, we never relaxing, outcast never lasting. Not lasting, not at all. You know that one? Keep on passing, don't pass in. What was it? What was the one I didn't know? Rolling in the deep by Adele. Rolling? Yeah, I don't. I can't understand her. She's British. <laughs> Sorry, is that? It was met by total silence by the whole room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Onion, garlic, ginger. Back on the heat. I feel like that would be a UK grime song or something. Back on the heat. Back on the heat. Hey. And then like Georgia Smith comes in and she's like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Where's Georgia Smith? Are we gonna get her on? Yeah, she's next week. So come over here, Sam. Check this out. We're frying off our onions, our garlic, our ginger, and the spices for just one to two minutes. And now we go in with our butter. Mm. Is that butter? No, it's butter. Vegan butter. Oh, we should have some guests on the show. Who would be your top pick, Sam? Ronald McDonald. Ronald McDonald. Hey, Stormzy, Stormzy. Oh. Louis Theroux, yes. Jonathan Van Ness. Jonathan oh, Van Ness, that. yes, great. Boris Johnson. Boris <laughs> Johnson. <laughs> Get Boris Johnson on here. Boris, if you want to come on, we're, 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 we're take, we, have, we have a full schedule. Lizzo, Lizzo, I th is she vegan? I got Harry Styles on here too. So, tomato paste in the frying pan. Stir that all together. Let it cook for one to two minutes. It actually smells so good, I can vouch for the audience you can't smell. 10 out of 10. Don't sound so surprised. <laughs> Crack open a can of coconut milk! Can we use the same... We already did that one. Yeah, we've done that a few times. Let me know which guests you'd like to appear in, in the next episode. Maybe it'll happen. Jack Whitehall. Um, Big Zoo. Black pepper? I feel like we need a little black pepper in. Some cracked black pepper. And a pinch of salt. There's our sauce. We simmer away. I'm gonna do a little taste test. You're not, are you, is this in shot? Kind of bit messy. We're real. We're real. Thank you. We're real! <laughs> Take your tofu out. Just halfway through, give it a toss. Back in the oven it goes. Prep some coriander. As one of my first jobs working in a restaurant, I had to remove the leaves of the coriander, or cilantro if you're in the States. That was my job. Leaf by leaf, and I did that I think for four hours. Are you wow. having flashbacks right now? Yeah, I'm thinking about being in a dark, windowless room, just pulling coriander leaves off the stem. I can actually make myself cry. Just give me a second. Back to the coriander stems. Just chop them, thinly slice them, and this is going to be our garnish on top of our dish. Let's see, how are we doing? Okay, our tofu's out the oven. Lightly golden brown on the outside, crunchy also on the outside, and then soft on the inside, just like my heart. So the tofu's done, and we just add the tofu into our sauce. <laughs> the moment I've been waiting for. Wink. Turn off the heat, and we stir everything together now. The corn flour from the tofu will help thicken the sauce a bit, so continue to stir for about one to two minutes. She's a beaut. Look at that. There you have it. Tofu. Tofu butter chicken. Nice. Let's plate up. Let's rock this joint! Name the movie. Game. No. <laughs> Do you give up? Yeah. Mask by Jim Carrey. Oh. Let's rock this joint! Well, yeah, I would have got it if you did it like that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's rock this joint. Let's rock this joint! Let's move on. Tofu butter chicken. It's one of my favorite meals. I'm gonna plate it on a plate plate. Is that cool with you? Because that's all we got. We only got plates. Serve it with some rice. More sauce. Mmm. 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 Some vegan double cream. Some lime zest. Coriander stems. Some coriander leaves. And a lime wedge. Or lime slice. I don't know why I sliced it, but I did.
and a lime wedge. That right there is my tofu butter chicken. Yeah. See you next week, where I'll be coming to your home to make you a tofu butter chicken. Leave your address in the, no, don't do that. <laughs> See you next week from space. Pesos and all those.